Hi everyone, this is LER Games, and today I'm watching episode 40 of Isekai Slime. I'm just gonna give up now. That's how the <laughs> that's how the episodes are numbered in the files, so it's too annoying to keep trying to figure out which episode it really is. Um or which episode of the second part of the second season it is. Uh, but yeah, last episode, they, uh, they finished with their meeting, uh, except for the fact that they never really addressed what the fairy said. Um, so hopefully we're going to expand on that this episode, because that was a pretty long meeting. It was the entire episode, essentially. And to be honest, not much got settled or even done. Like everything was just like, oh, we're just going to agree on what we're going to do regarding what we're going to say about Rimuru being a demon lord. And that's it. That's that's basically all that happened. Rimuru just said, this is what we're going to do. Everyone okay with it? With a lot of fluff in between. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's see what happens this episode. If you see, like, this group of characters, just, like, how many people are just walking around and stuff, and every single one of them has a name, and, like, yeah, you should have addressed this before. <laughs> I did notice her in the background last episode. I was about to ask who that was because I didn't remember. Yeah, it seemed fairly important. Is it? Yeah, okay. It was her discovery of manga. <laughs> I, I like her so much. <laughs> Okay, so essentially we're at the exact point where the episode before last episode ended. They, they didn't have to put it off till now. She's also probably like the best looking female character. It's just it's a shame she's so tiny. If she was like human sized, then she'd be perfect. Can Rimuru attend? It means a purge of walls. It's the reason they're having it. Yeah.
Okay, this is getting interesting. But how did everyone, how is the news spreading so quickly? I'm really bothered by the fact that Milam is acting on another Demon Lord's behalf. There has to be a good reason. <laughs> I really like her. <laughs> she just in this one scene she's already quickly becoming oh god i don't know if she could sur surpass uh the princess but she's already like way more entertaining and the princess hasn't done much in a long time Hopefully you do that. Oh, I guess they're going to drag it out. <laughs> it's not like I'm on your side or anything, Baka. I think she easily has, like, some of the best conversations with Rimuru so far. Besides him and Milam. Uh, it does seem like an interesting job. God, if only she was human-sized. <laughs> the men are ordered in uh, an order of size, from left being the smallest to right being the biggest. And of course, the biggest is the dwarf king.
Even though she's incredibly tiny, she still has like the best figure out of all of them. Actually, she has a pretty good figure too. Of course, there's no skin or anything, so that sucks. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get any skin, though, like through a modification or like magic or something, because I feel if it does, they're going to ruin their her figure and probably going to give her like a giant chest or something. Well, they're pretty lucky, I guess. <laughs> I hope at, point, point, at one point she does use magic to like make herself bigger or something. She's a demon lord, right? That should be possible. He ate them head and all. Oh my god, she's such a terrible secretary. That was a horrifying image to be shown. And very casually dismissed. Why can't she just be a bodyguard? Then she'd at least be useful. Even though he doesn't really need a bodyguard, but like he doesn't need a useless secretary. Her only real skill is just to smash things. So that's what she should do. It'll probably help a lot. A lot. Everything about this will probably help a lot. See, I think one of the problems with this series and the reason it's going so slow is that there's so many characters, we kind of have to go through everyone before reaching any sort of progress.
You don't have to keep focusing. And we know she's terrible. I mm, think I've mentioned how much I like that beast girl as well. That new demon guy should be Rimuru's secretary. He's probably incredibly more competent than Shion. <laughs> oh, no. I can't even say take Shion either because she'll just mess any something up. So you can't really trust him with something. I guess his competence is his downfall right now. Kind of sucks that the the incompetent one is the one getting what she wants. Hopefully she started reading the manga <laughs> on chapter one. So she has a territory too. I wonder what she does. <laughs> The middle finger. <laughs> he better be incredibly rude. <laughs> Either that or incredibly polite. One of the two. Despite the fact that I care practically nothing about her. The fact that she's called the ring finger is kind of fitting, considering the annoying relationship stuff going on with her. This skill has become has become so incredibly useful. <laughs> Not that it wasn't before, but like in terms of intelligence.
Oh, well, I think Rimuru could just like quickly fly over there, probably. All right, well, another pretty uneventful episode. Um, a lot more talking, but we did get that amazing conversation with uh, with the fairy. She's incredibly entertaining, and just that one scene already made her one of my favorite characters. Like, she, I'm glad she's going to stay because. The dialogue with Rimuru is just so entertaining. <laughs> She's selfish in a really, like, lovable way. At the same time, having pretty good intentions while hiding them behind selfishness. It's, it's great. I love it. Um, I do wonder how she's a demon lord, though, because she doesn't seem to have much actual power unless you know it's the it's not a true demon lord it's just like the demon lord in title but in, if that's the case how do you even get that title because I, I don't remember if it's been said like i know there's a distinction between you know demon lord and true demon lord like what uh rimuru has become but how do you even like is are you just self proclaimed? Or do you just get that title by like people or something? So I don't know how that works. Um but yeah, that's my reaction to episode forty. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.